Welcome back everyone, hope you're doing well today. We have another very special video for you today. It is going to be a pack and play six inning game with Fallen Games TV. He's another up and coming YouTuber. He's got a lot of great content on his channel. He's doing a lot of creative stuff. He grinded the 11th inning program for us to see all the rewards uh, as soon as possible. And he hit me up the other day and wanted to know if we could do a pack and play video. And I said, absolutely, let's do it. We've never done anything like this on the channel. So I figured why not start now? So let's get right into it. We've got the 21 packs. We spent 35K each on headliners packs. And basically we're gonna throw these guys onto the team. So let's see what we got here. Pack number one, we got a silver, Nick Anderson. We're going to put that guy right onto into the bullpen here. D Gordon will be added to the squad. And oh man, I see a diamond sitting behind him, Xander Bogarts. So we get to Xander Bogarts in this. We are going to put him in the lineup for sure. And for now, we're just going to add everybody to the, the pen so that we can kind of fill it out and upgrade as we go. Second pack right here, we get another silver. Tucker Barnhart was one of my favorite br catchers at the very very beginning of this year finally a rotation piece that's a uh, silver these games are going to be played on all-star just so that we can have a little bit more offense with some lower power teams here we get a daniel murphy silver card he's going to come in for now lefty in the pen so we filled out the rotation and the bullpen already now we're going to see if we can fill out the lineup. Nice. Eloy Jimenez. I'll take that. Definitely putting Evan Gaddis on the squad unless we get something better eventually. We're going to put Duvall on the bench for now. Austin Riley will probably start at the moment. We'll see if we get something better in a minute. And we are now finally getting to fill out the lineup in the bullpen a little bit more. Let's put in Shane Green. Maybe some bronzes. Definitely the silvers are going to come into the uh, bullpen and rotation right now. Oh, man. We get a diamond card. I jumped the gun right there on the CC Sabathia. So he will be coming into the rotation. And we'll be taking out Cody Reed for now. I'm going to go ahead and add the friend request right now. Because I want to make sure that all and sees all the diamonds that we're about to pull. If we start pulling golds and things like that, we may... Shift the lineup around before we start uh, adding more guys. And already we have a third first baseman. So we will go in. We'll take out Descalso for now. Once the bench is filled out with silvers, I will also go in, reshuffle guys, and see what kind of lineup I want to build. Nice. We get a little gold here. Add him to the rotation. And another diamond card. Let's just flip it right there. Oh, we get a bullpen arm. Troy Percival. I will take this right here. Add that guy to the bullpen. So three diamonds so far and pretty good diamonds. I mean, CC Sabathia can get lit up quite often. And we get a, a fourth diamond in Matt Chapman. Oh my lord. This would never happen off of a, off of a YouTube video. And uh, it, it would never happen if I was just pulling packs randomly. Billy Hamilton, also a goon. We're actually going to start him for now. Matt Chapman. Let's see. Austin Riley's in there. I kind of like his profile. He's got a little bit of power. So we're going to see if we can take somebody out of the bench. And I think Joey Rickard's going to be the guy, the odd man out. Another gold. Dellen Batances. This bullpen might be nasty. I may actually really like this bullpen right here. Albert Almora. He'll come in. That one's for UK Oxide. And the last pack of the day. See if we get one more diamond. We do not. We get another starting pitcher. And that is it for us. Let's go take a look at this lineup before we get into the game. All right, we do have a Matt Chapman, so we will put him in the starting lineup. I kind of really like the Eric Hosmer. Not a huge fan of Daniel Murphy's swing for whatever reason. So we are going to go to Hosmer here uh, in the starting lineup. Although I could go with Adam Duvall as well. Nice little power. Plays a lot of positions. And Duvall is pretty good defense. If I put him in right field, he actually does have diamond defense, or gold defense, I should say. And I kind of like this team. Okay, I finally made my decision. This is how we're going to do it. Bogarts has some good contact. He's going to lead off. Matt Chapman will hit behind him. Eloy will bat third. Hosmer, then Gaddis. Gaddis protecting the lefty. Then we're going to go with a little speed in the lineup. We'll go Hamilton, Gordon, and then Duvall. 
this probably doesn't make a whole lot of sense but you know it's a six inning game we're doing it for fun for youtube so let's just have some fun with it and this is what the rotation looks like move a couple guys around we did pull a diamond in the bullpen well, that's looking pretty good we got Patances for setup tyler duffy not too bad we do have jace fry as our solo left-handed pitcher so ideally if we could get cc sabathia or even michael pineda on the mound to start the game that would be fantastic but there's a chance that one of our diamonds just doesn't come into play one in five chance of rolling him and let's get into the game all right so we're finally getting into the game he's got vr leading off we have miles Mikolas on the mound if i didn't mention it earlier all in games is also a goon very good at the game I participated in J-Pro's tourney recently, which was pretty much goons only. Try to backdoor with a slider. He does pop it up with Muncie. One of the many good players he has on this team. And Aaron Hicks batting third. Again, this game is on All-Star. And it's going for six innings. He's got some pretty insane numbers with the live series Bryce Harper. We're going to hope he doesn't punish us here. That was a pretty good pitch. Not called a strike. 3-1 count. Fastball count. Apparently not looking for the fastball. Try to go inside with a slider. It is a home run. All over that baseball, it did hang over the middle of the plate as well. Unfortunately, we don't have that much to work with. Mikolas, I guess, is someone that we could take out. Not a ton of depth in this bullpen as well. You bronzes, silvers. We might start off with the Batances. We'll see what we can do here. Another slider. He was right on it as well. But it's going to be a lineup this time. I do like the top of my lineup. Let's see what we can do with these guys. I'm generally not too good with Xander Bogart's cards. And we'll see about the Matt Chapman. <sighs> Swinging first pitch twice in a row. Pop them both up. We are coming in a little bit cold in this game. So I think after a couple innings we'll be good to go. But for now not looking too good. Line drive up the middle for Eloy. Two pop ups to start. Then we get a pitch on the corner. And we take up the middle. He kind of did the same thing here as well. He got the first two guys out, and then with the third guy, he was able to get on and then hit a home run. Unfortunately, we do have the lefty Hosmer, who does not have good splits against lefties. So let's see if we can keep the line moving for Gaddis behind him. On the fastball, it pops it out to center. We go to the second inning. We're going to go to the lefty early here. I don't want him in a high leverage situation anyway, so we might as well use him early. Hard hit past the first baseman. Got the curveball again. That's exactly how we set up the two out rally last time was a curveball at the bottom of the zone. And uh, let's hope that the pinch hitter does not hit a home run off of us. It's going to go to Chris Taylor. Might as well stick with the lefty here. Not a ton of power against lefties, but he's got a glitchy swing. Can absolutely go yard on you. Towards the end of the bat, we threw the two, two seamer on the corner. It'll line out to center field there. Wind's blowing out nine, by the way. We may start looking down in the zone. Quite a few pop-ups already down there. And yeah, we finally get a nice hittable pitch on the inside half. Turn on it past the shortstop, and we are on with the leadoff man. Now we got the interesting part of the, part of the lineup with Billy Hamilton followed by D. Gordon. And there's going to be a grounder to first. He does throw to second. So he elects to get the guy out and leave the speed on the bases with more speed coming up next. Inside corner to Hamilton. Now, Wynn's going to take this one a little bit. Going to get past the center fielder. We're going to keep uh, D. Gordon at second base. Score Billy Hamilton. And it's a 2-1 game. I'm going to go ahead and start with Daniel Murphy, I think. It was the pitch I wanted to swing at. And we still missed it. We do put up a run. We are now in the third. VR hits it into the gap right here. See if we can cut it off. Billy Hamilton does cut it off. We will have a play at second base. Very good throw. Very good arm for Billy Hamilton, but he is safe at second. Good squared up below the zone. I almost fell into a pattern there. I feel like I've been throwing fastball away a little too often. He might have picked it up there. And he's going to have a runner at third with only one out. Throw him the fastball down the middle, yeah. That was always the plan. One of the fattest pitches you'll ever see. Coming right back with a curveball. That's the spot he's been liking. Does pop it up this time. We had a bit of an issue trying to get this game set up. So Fallen was supposed to be the home team. 
and for some reason we couldn't find each other in the menu so we tried a few different times and finally we got it to work but that ended up with me being the home team which means i have a little bit of an advantage here even though we're down three runs this could make for a very interesting game late another curveball below the zone goes for a hit it's probably the third or fourth one so far i think that's his pitch i think we are not going to throw any more curves below the zone That time we put the curveball on the plate and he pops it up. So don't throw it below the zone, throw it in the zone. Back to the top of the lineup as well for me. Let's get on base with Xander Bogosh to start off this time. Or we could do that. Or we could do that. That was the plan. 100% skill. Not going to get through. I thought that would be hit a little bit harder, but it was not. We tried to pull the slurve on the outside corner. Just not a lot of thinking going on in that swing. Good lord. Ground ball to shortstop. I think that's in three pitches we are out of the inning. We're going to keep in Batances for one more base runner. We got common fielders up the middle. I think Bogarts is going to get a bit of an upgrade to start next year. I know that we have the Troy Percival, which actually I don't pitch well with. So even though I have that 94 overall pitcher... Not that dangerous. Uh, his bullpen looks pretty weak other than the Ozuna that he just used. Right down the middle to Hosmer. Finally threw him a fastball and he was a little bit late on it. We're both a little bit cold coming into this game. Tyler Lyons comes in. Hosmer, I don't think I can hit with much power against lefties, but Hosmer I do feel like has a pretty good swing. So I don't feel overmatched. I do think we just got to hit a line drive. But whenever there's wind, that line drive can go a little farther. Forget everything I said. Home run. 4-2 game. AJ Ramos coming in. Everybody loves his gold card, but the bronze is one that you don't see too often. Gets it low and in. We get on that pitch. Wind's trying to take that one as well. I want to say it's Schwarber in left field, but that guy looks pretty slim. Good, good with Billy Hamilton up next. Just trying to get one up the middle here. That's perfect. Little base hit. Runner on first with speed. Runner up to the plate with some speed as well. No funny business. We're not going to be bunting or anything like that, but we may try to slap one here over the third baseman. D. Gordon already had a double in this game. He's the one that drove in the lone run before, but he does line out here. On oh, Duvall, I wasn't really expecting another fastball. He did go with the slide step, probably wasn't trying to put it in that spot. And I think we end up scoring just the one run on the home run from Hosmer. And we're still going to have to make up some ground as we go through the rest of this game. The Tantis is going to come out, we'll go with Shane Green. And that one's going to be a home run. A lot of two out damage done in this game. Two seam low and in, laser to first for the out. Two at bats left for us, six outs to work with. Not a ton of guys in his bullpen. We're going to go with Jed Lowry. I think most of the remaining good pitchers he has are right-handed pitchers. Maybe going to stick with Ramos for now. I should probably get Troy Percival warm. He probably should come into this game. Hard hit to left field, right into the glove. Fastball looks like a sinker, honestly. The way it comes out of AJ Ramos' hand almost looks like a sinker, but it is a four-seam fastball. Lots of those he's been throwing. Not a whole lot else that he's been throwing in this game. Hard hit to center field. We were all over that baseball. Can't wait to see the feedback on this one. And gets over Aaron Hicks's head. The wind took that one. Bad animation because of it. There's the fastball low and in. This one looks like it is going to be caught. And we will stay at second base there. One run here would go a long way. We do turn on it past the third baseman. We'll have to stay at first there. Uh, tying run is up to the plate. It's going to be Eric Hosmer against Jose Alvarez. Good pitch selection, but we did go lefty-lefty for a home run last time. Hard hit up the middle, and with the wind, it's going to be a lineout. Go to Troy Bursival. Pretty good against righties, not very good against lefties. But it was nice to pull him in that pack, so let's see what he can do here. And Schwarber absolutely tees off on the first pitch fastball. Going to be a home run, might clear everything out there in right field. Oh yeah, goes over the building. We've given up some absolute blasts in this game. See if he's aggressive on 0-2.
Swings and misses. Strike three on the fastball. I think he probably expected it to be a off speed below the zone. Hard hit to first. Nice snag from Hosmer. We get out of it, but we do give up the run. He gets it right back from the inning before. And let's see who he brings in to close it out. We each have eight hits. Brandon Morkman comes in. Fastball, curveball, cutter. I don't really like this combo. Don't like these matchups, but let's see what we can do with it either way. High in the zone, goes down the line. We off the wall. No reason to push it here. We get to first base with the speed part of the lineup coming up. High in deep for Hamilton. Not enough power there. Wasn't really trying to hit it in the air, but that's what happened. Probably going to be a cutter. Probably why we got underneath it. Let's take a look. It was a cutter. Let's try to slap a baseball here. Don't try to do too much. You're not trying to be late on it. You're supposed to try to get that good good, but... You do want to take it to the correct part of the yard. And high and deep to right field is not the correct part of the yard for D. Gordon, but when the wind's blowing out nine, it doesn't matter. Home run. We are within one run. The tying run is up to the plate. And we were all over that baseball. That's why I don't really care about what the feedback says. Good okay is all, all the same to me. My ball was right on the money. I can't tell if Fallen's trying to let me come back in this game. There have been a lot of fastballs down the middle to start at bats. Kind of surprised about that. But then again, there's a lot of dudes in the rotation in the bullpen that don't really have good control ratings. So we got to do what we can. He's just been very, very aggressive with the fastball. All right, off the bench, who do we like here? Austin Riley, 66 power. Just need to get the good part of the wood on the ball. Archie Bradley coming in. All right, similar pitch mix here. Tying run up at the plate. Got the pitch we were looking for. Totally missed it. Too early on that one. Double whiff. We were trying to go yard, trying to tie it up. We do line out to end the game. That's a good game there from Fallen. Absolutely destroyed some baseballs there. And that was a lot of fun. Great player. His links, of course, will be in the description. Aaron Hicks destroyed me. Two home runs, three runs, three RBI as well. He's already over a 1,000 rating for this season. So make sure you guys check out his YouTube channel. Follow him on Twitter. Follow him wherever you can find him. The links will be in the description. This likely won't be a full series or anything like that, just a one-time thing for now, but we do have quite a few stubs. We may do some more pack and plays and whatnot. If you guys are interested, just let me know. If we have a lot of interest, then we will do some more of those. But again, good game to Fallen. I appreciate him uh, hitting me up for this game. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you guys check him out as well. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.